Hey guys, this is Ray from Yuhuka, and in this video I'm doing a review on the Onyx Bowl. This is not only a new bowl on the market, but it comes from a new brand on the market, which is Mason Shisha Wear. They first introduced this bowl online with some sneak peek photos in February of 2016, and it built up a lot of anticipation in the hookah community because of its appealing design. I was lucky enough to grab one of these bowls on the first batch release that came out this August of 2016, and I've been using it a lot, and I think it's an excellent bowl. So before I go and tell you why I think it's such a great bowl, let's go ahead and take a closer look. Mason Shisha Wear first released the Onyx with five color options. It's a great looking bowl with a very distinctive, elegant design. The initial colors released are Mystic Jade, Diesel, Blue Steel, which is the one I got, Antique, and Rustic Rojo. They just released a sixth color, which is Pebble. They all come with the signature Mason's mark. Mason Shisha Wear says that Onyx is made from a proprietary clay body created specifically to optimize your hookah sessions. The clay is specially formulated to retain an even temperature throughout the session and protect against extreme temperatures, which ensures you to get long and flavorful sessions. I found this all to be true when smoking the Onyx with different brands of shisha and different levels of heat. The Onyx is made in a cast process, but unlike other cast bowls, this one is made of high quality clay. It's a shallow bowl marketed to hold 14 to 18 grams of shisha, but during tests I found it to hold as little as 12 grams with the fluff pack and as much as 20 grams with the dense pack. This bowl has spokes on the cooking surface which helps provide a deep bake as it cooks through the shisha, not just under it. These spokes also assist you in partitioning your packs into equal thirds. This bowl weighs in at 274 grams. It has a very solid feel to it. The Onyx is designed to be used with a heat management device, but it will work with foil as well. I tried it with a Lotus and an Ignis and found it to have a proper snug fit. Now that you've seen the bowl up close, I'll show you how I did a fluff pack and show you how much shisha it holds. With this fluff pack of ugly tobacco, it held 12 grams. With the semi-dense pack, I got 16 grams. Packing it with a dense pack using tangiers, I got 20 grams. As mentioned, you can use the onyx with foil. When using foil, you have to go a little above the lower side of the lip on the bowl. It can be a bit tricky, but the onyx doesn't have an overly wide lip, so it's not too difficult. Although the Onyx is made for a heat management device, you can still use it with foil. It is a little tricky to pack because of the lip, but you can make it work. I ran into a problem when I first got my Onyx bowl. Although it fit okay on my Kalima Moon hookahs, it did not fit at all on my Starbucks stem. I found the opening to be just too narrow to fit that stem securely. It actually sat about two to three millimeters from the top of the stem, which is really not enough to hold this bowl in place. I thought that was a bit strange, so I reached out to Mason Shisha Wear, and after going back and forth with them a little bit, we determined that there was a defect with my bowl. I measured the opening of my Onyx, and it had a 19 millimeter opening, where some of the other Onyx bowls from the first batch had a 21 millimeter opening. So that small difference in the bowl I got was actually enough to make it not fit on my Starbucks stem. And this is actually an issue I ran into with another bowl manufacturer on one of the early bowls that they released. So when I first got a stone fit bowl, I got a stone fit Genesis, which is one of the early designs of the stone fit bowl. And that bowl also did not fit on my Starbus stem. Seems that the Starbus stem has a little bit of a wider opening on the top and it just wouldn't fit the stone fit bowl and it wouldn't fit this Onyx bowl. Fortunately for you, if you are looking to get the Onyx Bowl, you're not going to run into this issue. I talked to the guys from Mason Shisha Wear and they said that they are making the opening on the bottom of the bowl about 23 millimeters or wider, which is actually about two millimeters wider than what it should be now. And they're doing that to allow it to not only accommodate different size stems, but also so you can use different types of grommets. So because of that change that they are doing, they are making it a little bit wider. You shouldn't run into this problem where your bowl is just too narrow to fit on your stem. 
I was able to fix this issue by using a rotary tool and a grinding bit. And on the low to medium speed setting, I was able to get this a little bit wider and I got it to about 23 millimeters, which I found it to be the perfect fit for the Starva stem. One thing I noticed about the Onyx is how good the glaze is on this bowl. It not only has a nice coating of glaze on the outside of the bowl and the top of the bowl, but it also has a full coating of glaze on the inside of the bowl, which makes it easier to clean and it also prevents ghosting. And it's not something you see in many bowls. Usually bowls don't have a coating of glaze on the inside. So it's nice that they went ahead and gave it a full coating of glaze all throughout the bowl. And the glaze on the Onyx is really good. I found this to be the easiest bowl I have when it comes to cleaning. Most of the times when I'm cleaning it, all I have to do is rinse it with some water and dry it down and it's good to go. And sometimes when I'm smoking some longer sessions with a heat management device and I get a little bit of that gunk of the, the shisha kind of built up in there, uh, it still becomes easy to clean afterwards. I just have to rinse it with some water, maybe use a, a towel to kind of scrub the shisha off, but it comes off very easily. So by far, this is the easiest bowl I have to clean. Unlike some fully handmade bowls, the Onyx has a hollow design in the inside. And the Onyx is made in a process that's part cast and part handmade. And they purposely designed this with a hollow inside to hold shisha when it drips down. And I gotta say, even though it is hollow, it does have very thick walls. It doesn't feel like it's gonna break at all because it's hollow. So these chambers you see on the Onyx actually help in collecting that liquid that falls in to your base when you're smoking uh, some shisha. So even when you use funnel bowls that helps prevent a lot of that liquid falling down, that shisha, when it starts baking in, it starts boiling over and you just get that drip that changes the flavor of future sessions um, when you don't change that water. So the Onyx does a really good job at holding that liquid in place. I was a little skeptical when I was told that it was designed like this for that reason, but after using it, I have to say that it actually holds the liquid very well. So I made a diagram to show you what that looks like. And on the left of the diagram, we have the Onyx when you first load it up on the hookah. On the right of the diagram, you'll see what the Onyx looks like. Uh, once that uh, liquid starts boiling over and dripping down and it drips down into uh, this kind of uh, chamber that the onyx has on the bottom. So very interesting design. It's not something I would have ever thought of and it actually works really well. When that liquid drips down, it tends to hug the wall of the bowl and the, and the stem and all that. So because it doesn't drip right down and it kind of flows down through the, the sides of the wall, the onyx is able to capture a lot of that liquid and I noticed that really the water in my bases don't change when um, I'm using the onyx. That, that color kind of pretty much stays clear throughout. There may be a, some minimal amount of liquid that drips down, but it really helps a lot in avoiding that from happening. So definitely an interesting feature of the onyx. So now that you've seen the onyx up close and personal, let's go ahead and take a look at how it smokes with a heat management device. So as you see, this bowl rips. It's got a really wide opening on the inside and that allows it to get great cloud output. As long as you get your packing down right, you're gonna get awesome clouds out of this bowl. The clay is really good. It's definitely high quality clay. It's able to retain that heat well throughout the session. You're gonna get the very last bit of flavor with it. And because it's such a great clay, you're gonna also have long sessions with it. So even though you are loading up less than 20 grams of shisha with this, you know, 12 grams with a fluff pack. I got 16 with a semi-dense and 20 grams with Tangier's very dense pack. Um, even though you're using low shisha, you're gonna get long sessions with this. You can easily get an hour and a half sessions, maybe even more sometimes. Great all around bowl. I love the design. I think a lot of people fall in love with this bowl just by looking at the sneak peek photos. It is such an elegant design. And I have to say, after using it for two weeks, I've been very impressed by its performance. I'll definitely be using this bowl a lot more in future reviews to come. I think it's a great bowl, uh, definitely great for uh, using less shisha. As I said, getting that very last bit of flavor out of your session. Uh, just all around impressed, thumbs up. Big props to the guys over at Mason Shisha Wear for coming up with this great bowl. 
If you are interested in getting this, make sure to get on their mailing list on the Mason Shisha Wear website. This bowl is very hot, sells out very fast. I think the first batch sold out in less than 10 minutes. So there's a lot of people trying to get this bowl. It's probably gonna keep selling out very quickly. So get on that mailing list. It's priced at $37.99, which is a little bit more than some other bowls in the market, but this is a premium bowl, great uh, design. It's got some features you're not gonna see in some other bowls and it's definitely high quality bowl. So as always, if you've used this product, make sure to leave a review on youhooka.com, let everybody know what you think. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe.